Hey guys, Nick here from Click and Droid, and today I'm going to be showing you how you can get Moto Blur 2.1 on your unrooted Motorola Click. Now before I start, I want to say a few things. First of all, this will only work on an American Click. This will not work on a DeX because this is an SBF file for the American Click. And the second thing is that this will not work on the Click XT or the Motorola Backflip. So now that I've got that out of the way, let's get into it. First of all, you're going to need three files, and I'm going to be providing you with two links, and you're going to have to find a third file on your own. So the two links I'm going to be providing you, the first one is going to be where you can download the driver so your computer recognizes your phone. You can download the 32-bit or 64-bit, whatever version your computer is. And then the second link is going to be a Mod My Moto site, mobile, sorry, site, where you can download the SBF file of 2.1. Now, you're going to need to register to download this, but once you've registered, you can just click the download button and it will download. Now, the third file you're going to need is RSD Lite 4.6. So, I can't legally provide you with a link for that, but if you want to find it, you can Google RSD Lite 4.6 download and I'm sure you'll find the download. So, once you've got all three files, you want to extract them to your desktop, as you see here. You'll get two installers and then you'll get one SBF file. You want to run both installers and make sure you install the Motorola drivers and RSD Lite correctly. Once that's done, you're going to want to open up RSD Lite and plug in your phone. And the computer should recognize your phone. It may take a little while. Give it a minute or two to recognize your phone. Uh, you want to make sure it's on your phone, obviously, and plugged in. And then you want to click on the connected, where click down here, and you should see that you're running Blur 1.4.8. If you're not running 1.4.8, you want to go to System and check for updates, because this will not work from a 1.3.18 version. So once you've assured that you're running 1.4.8 and that your device is connected here, you want to browse for the SBF file that's going to upgrade you to 2.1. So you want to click the dot dots here, and you want to browse for the SBF. So mine is on my desktop, and it's called Timo that 2.0.25, and you want to double click on it. So you should get all this information over here, and now you're going to want to click start. So once you hit start, yeah, your phone will turn off and it will go into bootloader mode, which you see right there and it's going to split the file on your desktop into two different files so it can extract it and put it on the phone. So just be patient, this can take five or six minutes to do. So just enjoy and wait. So now on RSD Lite you should see in result it should say pass and on your phone it should be booting up and you should see the little blur boot screen. And it could take a minute to boot up here because this is the first boot and this is also a whole new operating system on your phone. So be patient and wait and it should boot up eventually. So there you have it. Now you are running Blur 2.1 on a Motorola Click. Um, when you first register with your Blur account, I've heard that some people have a, had a problem logging into their old account. So you're going to want to register a new account with Moto Blur and agree to everything and enter all your info again because the old Motoblur password and username won't work on this new update. So once you have that all set up, enjoy your new Motoblur and I will see you guys in the next video. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe and follow me on Twitter at ClickAndroid and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.